Napa Drop It really came to me uh, from traveling and seeing other wineries and vineyards that are in Texas. And I came back and I realized I wouldn't be able to experience that. The reason we founded Napa Drop It was to be able to experience all types of um, spirits, wineries, breweries in the Hill Country. We really wanted to have that in Texas. The wine space specifically, honestly, came from my sister and I going to Napa. During COVID, a lot of the wine tours were either canceled and or very limited space because of the social distancing. Upon us going, we realized, you know what? We can do this here in our own state. Wine is not intimidating. Wine is welcoming. Nap Trappa is here to ensure that anyone who wants to be a part of the community can be. You can learn, you can taste, you can pair. That's what it is to me. That's the reason we started it. For me, it's just us. I think that my sister and I, um, being the people who are creating these experiences guarantees to you that it's going to be a really fun time. It's going to feel like it was made personalized, bespoke just for you, for the group that's going. We take so much time and thought and care. It's not just a canned experience at all. Um, I think we both know how we felt our first times entering the Texas Hill Country. I mean, that's the point of, of us being the ones to create it. We do that with us in mind. And we, um, we also know how to have a good time. So we're not gonna send you to places that we feel are too stuffy, places that um, take themselves too seriously, but more than anything, we want you to go to have an amazing time, to make amazing memories, um, and for us to be the people who influence that for you. A day in Napa Drapa, I honestly feel like it is really about community. It is really about consistency and it's really about just being calm. I honestly feel that there is a heightened expectation when you're out in the distilleries, the breweries, the wineries, that you're supposed to know, you're supposed to pay, you're supposed to be there. The thing that Napa Trap is set up to do is to ensure that you are feeling comfortable and confident. This is not for you to have to pay an extended amount of money. This is for you just to be comfortable. We're gonna get you there. You're gonna be comfortable. You're gonna be educated on what it is that you're about to do. May it be uh, doing a beer flight, doing a wine tasting. Um, that's what really Nap Trap is all about. And going into those different situations, we realized we were feeling a little uncomfortable and in our own space. We understand wine, we understand sulfates, we understand pairings, and it seemed as if maybe we weren't supposed to be there. So I really feel like Napa Trappa is trying to pull the connections. We are trying to ensure that folks can go out, have a drink, do a tasting, and feel comfortable. Well, for me, the high of Napa Trappa, honestly, is it being geographically agnostic. There are tours, there are experiences that are not just for Texas. I honestly feel like the Texas Hill Country is one of our main pillars. It's a tenant. But I also feel like the um, beer tours of DC or DMV are also there. I feel like some of the extensions of fun inside of Las Vegas are also a potential location for Napa Trappa. I think a big part of Napa Trappa is the fact that we can connect our people to be involved with all types of um, experiences. It's not just about wine, beer, uh, spirits. It's about being together. It's about community. It's about learning and education. And that's what a big part of Napa Trappa is to me.